Hello beautiful souls. I welcome you to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, like my channel, please like, share, subscribe and comment and click on the bell icon so that you get notified of all my future readings. And if you need to book any of my services like healings, courses, guidance, predictions, crystals or any of my services, link is there in the description box below. Feel free to have a look at it. Okay. And a quick disclaimer before I begin today's topic. This is going to be a general reading. It may or may not resonate with everybody. So take what resonates, leave the rest. Also, this is a timeless reading. So whenever you're drawn to this video and this reading, this message is meant for you. Okay. And yes, coming to today's topic, it is all about past life connections. Okay. So first we'll be seeing whether you have a past life connection or not with your specific person. This person can be anybody. Your family, your siblings, your parents, your partner, anybody, okay? So first we'll see whether you have a past life connection with this person. And then we'll see what kind of connection do you have with this person. Like is it a karmic one, negative or positive? And then is it a soulmate one, soulmate connection or is it a twin, twin flame connection? Sorry for my stammering. Is it a twin flame connection, okay? And then at the end we'll be seeing a guidance for you. Like what should you do in this situation? Okay, so let's begin. We'll be having four uh, piles here. One, two, three, four. Number one, we'll have this Moors Agate bracelet. Number two, Seven Chakras bracelet. Number three, Moonstone bracelet. And number four, Lava bracelet. Okay. You can pause the video, you can meditate and see which of these uh, bracelets draws the most. Okay, and I would um, recommend to choose only one bracelet for one person. Okay, so let's begin with bracelet number one. So people who chose this Morsa Gate bracelet, let's see. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, guides, please let me know does pile number one have... A past life connection with their specific person. Just give me a single card. I suggested that. Just a single card. I number one have a past life connection with their specific person. Does I number one have a past life connection with their specific person? And then we'll see what kind of connection do you have with this person okay <clears throat> and then a guidance card for you Guidance for pile number one, guides. Please give me a guidance for pile number one. What should they do in this situation? Oops. We're having two guidance cards for you. Okay. So, first, let's see. Do you have a past life connection with this person? The tower in reverse. Well, it is a yes. Okay. It is a yes. You do have. And most likely it is a karmic one, okay, or a twin flame. Let's see what kind of connection. Still, let's see. Projections and isolation. Yes, a karmic one or a twin flame one. Projections is likely a twin flame. It might also be karmic because this isolation card also signifies of karmic as well as twin flame. So let me pick a clarifier. Because I sense both the scenarios here, karmic as well as um, twin flames, okay? So let me just check. Guides, please give me a card to show what kind of past life connection does pile number one have with the person. What kind of pile connection does pile number one have with the person? What kind of past life connection is it? Soulmate, twin flame, karmic. have the devil so i would say it is a karmic relationship okay 
this is a karmic relationship and most likely things have not yet sorted out okay and you might be in separation or you might be like in a in a chain basically tied in a chain that you can't break apart from each other but you can't um be together also okay and you might sometimes feel like this person is projecting you like whatever mistakes you did in the past be it intentionally or unintentionally the same thing is happening to you like whatever you did with some other person or in any situation that same thing is repeating with you in the form of this person okay so there might be times when you might think that uh, this is the same story repeating like whatever i experienced in the past is the same thing which is repeating but here you should know that the only difference here the only thing here is instead of this repeat repetition of pattern like in which you are the victim every time i see that you were the one responsible sometime um for for any mishappenings basically you were uh, basically responsible and now you are the victim if that makes sense okay yeah so this person is basically in your life to balance all the karmas which are still not balanced okay and it might be that whatever you are thinking about that person okay whatever you are thinking like a bit negative or positive or anxiety this person is responding in a similar way like if you are anxious about them then they will kind of increase your anxiety they will do something which kind of increases your anxiety okay so something of that sort this person is basically projecting you they are showing you the mirror you can say that or if i be too um blunt i would say you are getting the taste of your own medicine but i i won't say that because many a times we do things unintentionally okay <clears throat> so whatever happened was because of you in the past and now you are the victim in a similar kind of situation okay let's see guidance for you we have the sage what it says what is night for all creatures is the time of awakening for the self controlled and the time of awakening for all beings is night for the introspective sage so basically what as i told you about projections that they are just projecting on your thoughts and emotions okay showing you the mirror so basically what you think and what um <clears throat> they think or what others think that this is a maybe your friends are telling you that this is not a healthy relationship or this is going very negative this is very bad or you might be thinking that why is this happening to me why am i stuck here so basically what you are seeing as the dark part there is a light hidden in it it is basically the things which you are the you are seeing night okay but it is morning in disguise okay so just try to learn from the mistakes because god has given you this opportunity to learn from your mistakes and then <clears throat> clear the karmas with this person and then move on okay because i would say that whatever mistakes you did okay whatever your mistakes whatever mistakes you did either intentionally or unintentionally had to get balanced somehow so it is very good that god has sent you this person this karmic partner at this point so so that your karmas with this person as well as your mistakes from the past get balanced in one go okay so it is a positive one if you see in that way because this partner had to come somewhere in your life and those karmas those mistakes had to be balanced at some point so both are happening now only simultaneously okay so you can say that it is a good way in a in a way yeah it is a good thing in a way and when you learn from these mistakes when you learn your lesson then th there will be a bright light ahead of you okay i can just say that and coming to next uh, next uh, guidance for you it is changing bodies what it says as a person puts on new garments giving up old ones the soul similarly accepts new material bodies giving up the old and used ones again learn from the mistakes balance the karma let go of the old patterns and get adapted to the new ones okay welcome the new ones basically so this karma is your old 
cloth which you need to get rid of now and you have to balance it and then walk in a new light okay file number one this was your reading i hope it resonates with you let's move on to file number two now okay pile number two who chose this seven chakra bracelet let's see what your readings are guys please give me a card to show does pile number two have a past life connection with their specific person does pile number one have a past life connection with their specific person i need only one card guys I need only one card. Does pile number two have a karmic? Sorry, what am I saying? Just give me a moment. Guys, please let me know. Does pile number two have a past life connection with their specific person? Does pile number two have a past life connection with their specific person? Does pile number two have a past life connection with their specific person? What kind of connection pile number two is having with their specific person? What kind of connection is pile number two having with their specific person? Guidance for pile number two in this situation. Guidance for pile number two in this situation. So let's see whether you have a past life connection with this person. Six of swords. I don't think you have a past life connection with this person. Okay. I don't think it is. Yeah. Still let me pick a clarifier for this. Why six of swords here guys? Do they have a past life connection with this person? Why six of swords here? Why is six of swords here? Oh, we have six of cups. Definitely. Yes. Okay. So in that case, what six of swords means is that you didn't have a very good relationship with this person in the past. And it was not a long term relationship. Okay. You both decided to break apart. Okay. In your past. You both went on their separate ways. This person is from your past, but you didn't, you were kind of, you didn't spend, you didn't get to spend long uh, duration, um, long time together, okay? So you both just went your separate ways for your, because this relationship, I, I didn't, I don't see it as a very peaceful relationship, okay? It was not very peaceful. It was kind of chaotic, and this is why you both went on the separate ways. But short answer is yes, you do have a past life connection. Okay. Now let's see what kind of past life connection it is. We have the silence. And then the guilt. Definitely, as I told you, that it was a chaotic relationship. Yeah. See, most likely, I see it as a twin flame connection. Okay, most likely it is a twin flame connection or very high level of soulmates. Okay. Six, six. Um, I would say it as a twin flame. Okay. Yeah, twin flame. Or it might be that you both are very old souls and you have been incarnating together since a long time, which comes to a higher level, very, very, very high level of soulmates. Okay. Yeah. That is there. And again, as you know that a higher level of soulmates or twin flames have this very intense energy due to which their relationships don't generally work out. 
okay see um the number on this card this is what i was thinking see these are six and six you can see six of swords six of cups and this one is number 17 which comes down to eight and this guilt is number eight so eight eight six six definitely i would say it as a twin flame okay most likely for majority of you it is a twin flame connection or for very few of you very high level of soulmates okay yeah so as you as we all know that these high level of soulmates or twin flames they have a very intense energies which they usually can't handle okay because they need to resolve their karmas and uh, reach that uh, stage where they can deal with such kind of intense energies okay so this is why what happens is there is a I would say there is very um, there is difficulty in maintaining this relationship maintaining this relationship sorry for my stammering again so there is very difficult there is difficulty in maintaining this relationship they can't handle it it is filled with the stress and all chaos and then later what happens is they just go their separate ways and till their karmas and their uh, whatever is unresolved is resolved between them i would i would say between them okay this karma is not like this overall but in between them until it is resolved then the union is kind of very difficult i would say it is impossible okay in that incarnation so it's best to resolve their karmas together so that they come together so as soon as the karmas get resolved they come together if not in this life then again they take rebirth and then they have to kind of go through the same cycle again and again so i would say this is a very 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 high level of soulmates or most likely twin flames and in past you both had i would say very intense relationship because the silence just see this universe this universe is here universe is speaking through this card so it was a divinely guided connection but if you see very clear uh, very uh, keenly see this uh, this is the face of a person eyes nose lips and on the third eye chakra this moon is there so basically this is the universe face of the universe and on the third eye of the universe there is moon and on the crown chakra there are these stars so i would say that it was an intense intense and made for each other like divinely guided is just a short word actually for this okay so if you know what i mean to say okay so yeah and this is why this energy was very very difficult for you to handle and even in this life even in this life i see that you came together for a short span of time okay it might be 6 months 8 months because i don't see a very long uh, long time together it might be 6 to 8 months at max but that period that time period when you were together if you are asking for a romantic partner it was so intense as if you know each other since many lifetimes it was very 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 intense and i can assure you that neither you or not this person has moved on yet if you are already in separation okay neither you nor this person because you can never move on this is kind of a very high level of connection though for a short span of time it was very difficult for you to maintain i see that when you both separated it was very painful for both of you very 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 painful for both of you but it it had to happen because you both were not prepared okay let's see guidance for you we have rebirth okay what it says for one who is born death is certain for one who has died birth is certain since you cannot avoid either fate you should not lament as i told that this was a fated connection this was in your fate and since you had not worked upon yourself it was destined that you had to part ways again okay till you reach that height when you both are ready for each other it had to happen this separation has to happen okay you will be reborn again and again till you uh, kind of resolve your karmas and come into union then we have all knowing one what what it says i know all beings in the creation as they were in the past as they are now and as they shall one day come to be 
yet not one of them knows me in full o arjuna all living entities are born into illusion overcome by duality of desire and hate it again speaks about blockages as i told you that intensity that energy and it it is very chaotic and all so it speaks of blockages that the universe knows what happened to you and what is happening to you now but every time you forget it and then you get indulged into that same blockages same anxiety same negativities which is kind of basically which is an illusion which is an illusion you get stuck in that and you just revolve around in that which is kind of creating all these issues okay so the best thing as you ask for the guidance is that resolve your issues with each other be prepared for each other because see universe doesn't understand these materialistic things okay no matter what your current situation is because obviously universe angels guides they don't understand this linear time frame also so it doesn't matter what situation you are in now no matter how it seems impossible it is nothing is impossible for universe universe has always one or other way out so it doesn't matter what your current situation is you just have to work upon yourself resolve the issues resolve your obstacles basically the blockages in your energy and even your person has to do it and the moment you are prepared for each other then you will come into union no matter it is like in this life or next life as soon as you resolve all those things you will come into union okay and don't think that it is impossible and all that anything everything is possible and it can happen anytime it can happen even now at the current moment things come to us when we least expect them okay so this is the guidance work on yourself work on your blockages clear your block <laughs> again i'm stammering i meant to say clear your blockages and um yeah be prepared for the divine blessings okay pile me to this was your reading now let's move on to number 3 pile number 3 this moonstone bracelet this is such a beautiful one it's my favorite <laughs> okay pile number 3 with this moonstone bracelet guys please let me know did pile does pile number 3 have a past life connection with a person what kind of connection does pile number 3 have with a person what kind of connection does pile number 3 have okay guidance for pile number 3 we have only one guidance for you it is again rebirth <laughs> okay so i guess the answer is clear anyways <clears throat> we have nine of wands reversed like whether you have a past life connection or not technically it means no okay but also it depends on the surrounding cards so as it is only a single card let me pick one more as it's clarified guides please let me know does pile number 3 have a past life connection with a partner with a specific person does pile number 3 have a past life connection with a specific person why is nine of wands reversed here to come out fine let's see what are the clarifiers we have temperance in reverse and we have king of wands okay so again as a yes or no i would say no you don't have a past life connection together okay even if it was it was very um, i would say just you met each other it was nothing significant okay it was nothing significant you just met each other and then you parted ways okay it was nothing significant i can say because of this rebirth card as i have already seen that guidance card i would say that yes it is but 
according to these cards it was nothing significant okay because it was as if this relationship was not meant to last okay you just met each other you didn't click and then you parted ways it was something like that okay yeah with this temperance in reverse i see imbalance imbalance in your relationship when you met each other and the nine of wands reversed again you there is desire to let go of the imbalance and king of wands again taking speaks of taking self control so overall i would say that you didn't click with each other and then you parted ways and it was like you both were kind of okay it was for your peace of mind okay let's see more like what kind of connection you had we have the same cards again the silence and the guilt this is kind of confusing i need more cards actually guys why is the silence card here breakthrough okay why is the guilt card here i am not going to take these many cards no 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 why is the guilt card here guys we have abundance and we have the source <clears throat> so most likely i see this as a karmic relationship okay but it was not it was an imbalanced relationship as i have told already it was kind of an imbalanced relationship which didn't last for long one of you or both of you decided that you have it is for your betterment to part ways with each other okay and the connection was that it was for your but as i told you it was for your betterment because this relationship was kind of not serving you it was you were kind of destined to meet meet with each other but not destined to be with each other okay it was kind of that this relationship kind of gave you pain and anxiety and all that and if you ask me now if you ask me now the current situation i'll give you an idea to know whether uh, this pile is for you or not okay so if you think about this person if thinking about this person gives you anxiety rather than positivity okay because see no matter how worse the situation is there is an inner voice within you like no matter how worse the situation is if you feel that love that trust that intensity that connection with that person then this pile is not for you okay and for those of you who think of this person and get repelled or get anxious or kind of hate them or basically just get scared or anxious then this pile is for you okay because i see the same situation there that you were kind of in so much of pain and anxiety and going away breaking a uh, breaking uh, i would say break up or like just drifting apart from each other gave you that sense of peace that mental peace okay and it was not an easy decision for you but once you did it once you took that decision it kind of gave you a relief a sense of relief okay yeah and i don't see as i told you already that i don't see it as a very significant relationship because this is going towards a negative side okay i sense it is going towards a negative side yeah you met each you met with each other that that uh, initial um, i would say that initial connection might be intense but it was never peaceful it was never happy you never had this feeling from this person that you both had meant for each other or you have positive feelings for each other either you had to just continue with it with this person if you are still in contact with this person it might be that you are just dragging it somewhere deep down your soul your inner voice is not allowing you to be with this person but somehow you have to 
it doesn't matter that this person has done something wrong or not but somewhere your inner voice is telling you that this is not the right thing for you okay despite of their good behavior also because this is something which is really imbalanced and moving away from each other is good this is what i'm seeing now let's see guidance i'm sorry pile number 3 the, but this is the message i'm getting now let's see uh, guidance this is rebirth again for one who is born death is certain for one who has died birth is certain since you cannot avoid either fate you should not lament so in this what i what i feel that death means is just ending the things so you cannot avoid it it is it is just it is fated see you had met each other in the past life okay you had met each other in the past life it didn't work out and now when you met each other obviously there will be some sense of recognition because you already know each other but it is not peaceful neither it was in the past okay this connection you are kind of meeting each other because obviously this is a karmic one so you are meeting with each other just to get separated just to balance whatever was there whatever lesson was there it was not learnt in the past life and you just parted ways with that feeling of anxiety so where you ended it started from the same point in this life so either you resolve it in this life like you learn your lesson go through that uh, whatever that anxiety and all is there resolve it be clear with this relationship and this person part ways or it will be repeated again okay because i don't see this lasting even if it lasts you have to just use your kind of free will and you have to drag it because this is i don't see that it is destined and it is supported by the universe okay like this union is supported by the universe i don't see that it might give you again i am getting another message it might give you all the materialistic pleasures okay this relationship might give you materialistic pleasures like you might gain money you might gain status like any materialistic thing but it won't give you that peace that that your inner voice won't allow that no matter how materialistic success, materialistically successful this relationship is okay so with death with this guidance what uh, guides want to tell you that it cannot be avoided it is fated some things few things which are fated you should not lament okay so just allow it to happen go with the universe just follow the path learn the lessons and who knows that once you learn the lessons all your problems and troubles will be resolved okay and if it is kind of impossible for you to break apart break away from this person maybe for this life you live together in a peaceful way who knows that okay because obviously free will is another thing but you have to resolve your issues in order to lead a peaceful life okay so pile number 3 this was your reading i hope it resonates with you this was kind of confusing it is still confusing a bit for me like what kind of relationship it is anyways let's move on to pile number 4 people who chose this lava bracelet with black tourmaline pyramid okay guys please let me know does pile number 4 have a past life connection with the person single card this pile number what is the connection between pile number 4 and that person connection between pile number 4 and that person what is the connection okay i'm not going to take these many connection between pile number 4 oops it fell down just give me a moment Yeah, I picked up the cards which fell down. Now, let's see guidance for pile number four in this situation. Did 
we have only one guidance path for you. Okay. So let's see if you have a past life connection with this person or not. We have the fool card in you in reverse. So the answer is yes, you do have a past life connection with this person. I guess all the piles have past life connection with the persons today. Okay. So let's see what kind of connection it is. Completion. Okay. Morality. Just give me a moment. Hmm. I need a clarifier, guys. Why is the morality here? See, most likely this is a karmic one, but it can be soulmate also. I'm a bit confused now. Might be karmic soulmates. Why is the morality? What is this? The creator. Okay. Why is the morality here, guys? Why is the morality card here? Why is the morality here? Please give me a clarify for the morality card. Why? Okay. Why is the completion here? I'm not going to take three cards, guys. Only two at max. Okay. So clarifying the completion, we have totality, which kind of means the same. And clarifying the morality, we have compromise, which kind of means the same. Mm -hmm. See, whatever this connection was, okay, whatever this connection was, it has... See, I'll, I'll first describe what the situation is and then I'll pick one more card because it is still unclear to me, okay? So, the thing is that you came together, okay? And then your purpose in this life is already completed. And then you parted ways due to some obligations, okay? You parted ways due to some obligations in this life. And this relationship has come to completion in this life. Okay. Let me see if it is, if there is anything left. Because if it is karmic, then your karmas have resolved. And you have already parted ways. But I don't. Okay. Just give me a moment. I'll pick from this deck. What kind of connection, pile number four? have with a person what kind of past life connection it is of pile number four with this person what kind of past life connection i'm getting all kind of similar cards but it is kind of not clear whether i don't think this is a soulmate one okay i don't think it is a soulmate one this is a karmic most likely because i got this three of wands reverse everything all these five cards kind of speak of the similar thing like the Things which have come to completion and there is nothing left. It has already ended. It has come to its full um, circle. Okay. Guides, I want to know where pile number four and the person, karmic partners of each other. Please give me a yes or a no card. Pile number four and the person, karmic partners of each other. Ten of Pentacles. Yes, most likely a karmic one, I would say. Yeah, most likely a karmic one. But again, it's not that intense, I would say. Like not that intense connection. Like you know each other. It was kind of karmic because I see materialism here. Like I don't say it as a karmic, like very negative one. It was just like you know each other. Like your co-worker or some, somebody who you had materialistic relationship with. Okay. So it was just a very formal, I would say very formal or very, um, there was nothing intense. Okay. There was nothing intense and whatever small things were there, which were left unresolved, they have already resolved and you both have parted ways. This is what I see. It has completed. 
and i'm sure that file number 4 you didn't feel that intense connection because this intense connection is not there okay and yes i'm getting another scenario for few of you you chose this person as i told you that this connection has come to its completion and somebody you you left each other for due to some obligation i have already mentioned you that for some of you it might be that you have chosen this person due to some obligation okay you don't feel any emotional connect with this person but you are with this person just due to some emotion some sorry some obligation some societal norms or some materialistic um desires or some materialistic needs okay it was there is nothing emotional here so if you're asking about a partner who you feel emotional connect with then this is not the pile for you you can check any other pile okay and this relationship for those of you who are in contact who are with their person now who chose see i'll explain two scenarios because it is kind of getting confusing for you i guess see the first scenario is like you your relationship with this person has come to a, has come to a completion and then you parted ways with each other and the excuse for parting ways i would say the excuse was uh an obligation okay some societal pressure or some obligation or anything and and obviously you didn't feel that emotional connect so i i don't see that it was kind of very difficult for you it might be a bit it might be disturbing for you for a short span of time but it was not very disturbing for you okay the second scenario i'm getting is you chose this person due to some obligation or some societal norms or some materialistic needs and you don't feel any emotional connect because there is nothing which which has to keep you uh, i would say i'm at loss of words just give me a moment like you are not bound with each other like there is no emotional connect i would say there is nothing in your connection which should keep you bound to each other like connected tight to each other okay there is nothing that like that if you are with this person it is just due to some societal thing or some materialistic thing and like you both kind of support each other if you are married to this person or if you are in in relationship you both kind of support each other financially maybe or in some like increase support in your uh, status or something like that okay but that emotional connect is not there it is only because of materialistic thing okay if you are with this person it is only because of materialistic thing if you are not with this person that your that thing which was unresolved that thing has finished and left each other and when you were with each other it was kind of only some kind of small gains okay i don't take it in a selfish like i i don't want i i don't mean that it was a some selfish motive it was just like give and take kind of thing okay some give and take kind of thing and yeah it just ended and if you are with this person then it is not that you are not happy but you are not emotionally satisfied okay there is some void within you i can tell you that like you have to continue this relationship uh, it is not that you are unhappy but that emotional fulfillment if if you can understand what i mean that 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 thing is missing okay that thing is missing you are happy you are having all the gains and all the profits you might be having this financial support from this person status in the society all those things might be there but that inner happiness is missing okay because obviously there is no connect there is no like there is no uh, emotional connect with this person this person is just your karmic and very uh, i would say lower level of karmic like nothing intense between you two because karmics also that proper karmics are also they also feel intensely drawn to each other till their karmas are resolved and they part ways till then they are they feel very intense connection because they have to come together anyhow but in this relationship it was not that you had to come together it was already completed but somehow i will say due to your free will you <coughs> excuse me due to your free will you again 